This is a demonstration of a fuse and bulb tester made for pinball machines and video games. Uh, this is made by Magero Machines Incorporated. Uh, when you get this unit, it's going to come with uh, four screws in the bottom of it. Now with this one here, I've already removed the screws to save time. You'll see here a little rivet, and that's actually your battery holder. And this bottom piece is a little snug. So to get this out, I usually just tap them on the palm of my hand, tap the edge on the palm of my hand a couple times. And you'll get a little little edge there, it'll come out for you. Pull that out, and there you have your battery holder. Now if you look inside here, you can see everything of course. You got your battery clip, which we'll be hooking our 9 volt battery to, which is not included. And if you look down there by the, where the LED is, you'll see some shiny, uh, shiny kind of substance. Uh, that's not something I spilled in there that's actually supposed to be there. Uh, what I did was put, you know, something in there to keep that nut from working loose so that you can have years of trouble-free service without things coming loose for you. And same thing with the momentary switch. I actually uh, put some Loctite on that so that it's not coming loose for you throughout the years. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install the 9-volt battery. Just clips right on the battery clip. And then we put it in the battery holder. And you want to center it in there. And the easiest way to get these in, first of all, make sure that your wires aren't going to get pinched. If they are, you know, push them down in there. The easiest way to get this in is push one end in, and then it'll work right down. Now normally what I use to tighten the screws with is a Phillips number one screwdriver. You know, number two is going to make life really difficult for you. But uh, in the name of time, I'm only going to install two screws, and I'm going to use a little power to do it, just to save on time here. Okay, so this unit should be ready to go. So what we have here is this little momentary switch here. What that is, is that simply a battery test. This is so when you go to grab the unit, that you don't have to wonder whether your battery is good or not. You hit that, your green LED lights your battery's good, you're ready to test. Okay, and this will test a lot of common bulbs, you know, all the common bulbs basically, and pinball machines and video games, and some uncommon ones as well, um, as long as they're not, you know, too out there. Uh, but if it fits in these bayonet sockets, normally it'll test them. This is like a 44, we're gonna start testing. Now you see with this 44, it's like a 6.3 volt bulb and with these 44s and 47 your lower voltage bulbs you don't want to leave them in the socket you just want to light them up make sure they light because if you leave them in the socket what you're going to do is shorten the life of the bulb this is an 1893 I think it's like a 14 volt bulb now you see normally I'm not twisting these down into the socket you can if you want but I mean all you really have to do is push these down in there it lights up you know the lights good if it doesn't light it's bad you can also test your common flashers. Uh, this one here is a 63. And you can see that lights up. And again, I'm just pushing it down in there, not really twisting it in. This one here is a 67. And you can if you want to. If you get one that's not lighting up, you can twist it down in there and just make sure that it is bad. Once it's all the way in. But normally, not necessary. Here's an 89, real common in pinball machines. You also have a wedge socket here, so you can test your wedge, wedge bulbs. This is a 259, and that's out of like old video games I think they used them in. You're 161, and you can see these things lighten up. You have 555, and again, this is one of these low voltage bulbs that you don't want to leave in a long time, or you're going to shorten the life of it. You use the same wedge socket for your flashers. So here's a 904 flasher. Now you can see these aren't going to light up as bright as they will in a pinball machine. But we're not trying to light something up in a pinball machine. We're just trying to test flash here and make sure that it's good. This one's a 912. And you can see that's good. 906 is too. I mean, it'll test those. What this unit also has on it is a fuse tester so that you can test fast and slow blow fuses. Here's a fast blow fuse just typical that you'll find at a pinball machine or video game, a fast blow fuse, and you can see the green LED lighting. Now you might have to put just a little bit of pressure on it to get the light, 
Just a teeny bit. Okay, you see that green LED light? That fuse is good. If it doesn't light, the fuse is bad. Test your slow blow fuses. Same thing. The green LED lights, you're good. If it doesn't, you're bad. Just that simple. Pretty simple tool to use, but very handy. The other thing you can test on them, originally when I built one, uh, I put a GMA fuse holder in there. You can see a GMA is just a smaller fuse. But actually you can just bridge this with the regular fuse holder. I mean you can just get down in there and you can see you know that I can bridge across there and test that fuse. There is another thing you could do with GMAs. If you don't want to do that, a pair of alligator clips you can clip it right onto your fuse holder. If you wanted to do so. And then I'm just get up here where you can see me and see the LED. And you can see there that that's lighting. And this will also give you a kind of continuity tester per se. Uh, you know, if you wanted to test, you know, automotive fu fuses or maybe you have a trailer, trailer wiring, or in your pinball machine or your video game, I would recommend pulling the plug before testing the wires. Now, what you don't want to do here is test boards with this because uh, you're going to send a full potential of 9 volts through it and you can damage components. So, if you were, if you were looking for something to test boards, I do make a continuity tester. Okay, it's got everything the other tester has, except it's got a couple banana jacks and it comes complete. You know, you get your meter leads with it. But that's for another video. Uh, I, I do have a continuity tester I made for myself. I mean, this one's not as pretty. It's all butchered up, but I mean, you can get the basic idea. That's got a tone with it. And you also got a tone with your fuse. And your battery test. And that lights up if you were interested in something a little more than just, you know, the bulb and fuse tester. That's pretty much it for this. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward unit. It's very handy to have on the bench. Uh, if you own video games or pinball machines or just one, or if you work on these things, I mean, it's, it's a very handy, handy unit to have. Uh, we warranty these for life. So if you have any problems, you can send it back. I won't warranty abuse, so if any damage is done to the box, we're not going to cover that. But, you know, if something happens, you know, to one of your, you know, little things on there, you know, the fuse holder, you know, breaks off or momentary switch quits working, any of those things, we're going to cover that. All you'll pay back to me is shipping. They cost about $4 to ship. I know because I've shipped a bunch of them. And uh, we'll ship it back to you free of charge then. Fix it. I'll either repair it or replace it depending on what I think is best for the unit. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So thank you for your time.